Hello, and welcome back to Shafa Comics. We're on, uh, the last video with some raw comics, uh, looking at uh, the top 12 comics here that I've done with this little series here. And we'll take a look at the last one of Amazing Spider-Man with one through 200. That's where I kind of made my cutoff for looking at some top 12 comics. And then, uh, We'll take a look at maybe top 12 slabs. I only have 11 slabs after I already showed a couple earlier, so it'll be a top 11 slabs. So right now, what I pulled out for the top 12 is gonna be Amazing Spider-Man, number eight. It's my only one, it was single digits, so I wanted to share that. It's probably 0.5 or 1.0, but it is my, right now my only issue under, under 10 in single digits. All right, next book up. Just picked this one up a little while ago. Amazing Spider-Man 13, first appearance of, Mag of uh, Mysterio. So, really nice looking book. Probably around that 1.0 to 2.0 range. If I, if I, for my greeting, it looks like. And then next up, another first appearance, Amazing Spider-Man 20. It's Prince of Scorpion. Only thing really wrong with it is the, the little corner cut out there. And then also just a little bit of some ink work that I'm sure at the time some kid just colored in some spots on the cover there. A great looking book, Maze Experiment 20. And then our next one up is our first appearance of the Rhino. Maze Experiment 41. Love the cover, the rhino breaking through and just taking up the whole page there. Spidey's down there at the bottom, I don't know, cowering or trying to get him to stop there, we'll see. But great cover, first appearance of a, of a villain, of one of his robes with the rhino. Next up, this one's got a little bit of a nice story to it. So. Amazing Spider-Man 50, just one of those iconic covers of Amazing Spider-Man. I mean, he had so many with this Amazing Spider-Man. But once I got back into comics about, oh, what is it, about eight years ago now, maybe, this was one of the first, if, if not the first, purchase I bought off of eBay. And right now, probably one of the better deals still, still since then. I picked up this one, Amazing Spider-Man 38, and uh, I think maybe I think sixty seven, all three of those books for under forty. I think it was thirty eight for the three together, and I just couldn't believe the person was asking for that price, and just picked up those three books. It was a great find, even though it's got some rough sides there. I'd rather have rough comics better than no comic, right? Hashtag. All right, so May Spider-Man fifty just. So, in first appearance, of course, of the King Ben there. So, so happy to pick that up get, when I first got back in the comics. All right, next one. Great first cover for Mary Jane. Amazing Spider-Man 59. Really solid book. Just a little bit of some discoloration on the top there, but this book was way better shape when it came in than I thought, and very happy with that one, so. That made that top 12 of one through 200 with Mary Jane's first cover appearance. This one, uh, I picked out not, nothing big about it, but this one was back in the day when I first started collecting my first, uh, say, old comic that I, that I bought. So it just brings back a lot of memories when I first started collecting. And then also my dad taking me down to uh, out of town on a trip and doing some comic book shopping at a store. So, May Spider-Man 80. Next one's just classic cover. Just the beauty of a book of Amazing Spider-Man 100. Just love that book and cover there. And then not going too far after 100, Amazing Spider-Man 101. Nice Morbius book, first appearance of Morbius. And of course, the six six arm Spidey. So, great book there. And 
Next one up is uh, Amazing Spider-Man 121. Pick this up at, and just great yellow cover with Amazing Spider-Man. All the key figures in the background. Who's going to die in this issue? Just huge. So, Death of Gwen Stacy, Amazing Spider-Man 121. Awesome book. And to go with 121, of course, we got to go with Amazing Spider-Man 122. So, Death of the Green Goblin. Great book. Two got to go together. Got to have both of them, right? If you're going to have one, you got to have the other. So, two good books there. 121 and 122. And last one's right up there, right near 200, is going to be Amazing Spider-Man 194, First Appearance of Black Cat. Just one of the favorite characters in the Amazing Spider-Man for me is that is a Black Cat character, and she's just huge in, in uh, Peter Parker's life, both as Spider-Man and Peter Parker. So great cover, great first appearance cover too of a character, and that of the Black Cat in Amazing Spider-Man 194. All right. Thank you for stopping by, check out the video, comment below, what are your top comics of maybe of the Amazing Spider-Man run, and love to hear what your thoughts are. Thank you for stopping by, watching the, watching the video, make sure you all get out there and shop for the comics.